How to make a woman desire you. Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti. I am your dating and relationship coach, founder of ApolloniaPonti.com. If you're, this is your first time visiting my channel, I welcome you and I welcome you to click that subscribe button so you're up to date with dating advice in regards to attracting women, mastering confidence, and getting the love life that you desire. And I'm going to give you seven tricks, tools, tips, real advice in regards to making women desire you from a woman yourself, <laughs> myself, I should say. Now let's get into it. Tip number one is I want you to understand that you cannot make everyone be with you. Okay, stick with me here for a moment because this is an important tool before I give you the rest. Now, what I want you to understand is just because you date someone or just because you've met a certain girl does not mean that this person is supposed to be the one for you, okay? Understand that if we take our pace and we take our time in understanding who people are and not everything is meant to work out, sometimes people are lessons as well. If we go into it with this mindset, we start to detach and we start to really be present in the moment with a woman and start to not attach to a specific outcome, which leads me into tip number two. Tip number two is stop being fixated on the story that you've made up in your head and start being fixated on reality. What does this mean? Well, if you are not a first time viewer, I'm sure you know what this means, but what it means, and I talk about a lot is we start to date people in general sometimes. And we get so fixated on the idea of what it could be. We are feeding our mind with oxytocin because of the fact that we're thinking about the good. But the reality of the situation is something we haven't even figured out yet. So now we're fixated on the idea. So we start to become obsessed. We start to put the woman on the pedestal. We start to be inauthentic within our own selves. We start to be overbearing. We start to be needy. We start to be thinking, 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 thinking so much about this woman and putting her on a pedestal because we've never had a woman like this before. But how do you not know that you've never had a woman like this before? So are you fixated on the reality, which is the healthy part, how she's showing up for you, pacing yourself, not knowing her too much yet? Or are we fixated on the actual idea of the story? Because a lot of us are trained in life right now to want instant gratification. And that instant gratification effect comes on to the made up story. We make up a story in our head. So we get that instant gratification of something of an outcome that we want right now, right here, right. But when this is a made up story, we got to focus on the reality. So tip number three in regards to this is so important is you have to have purpose. You have to have some type of purpose in your life that drives you, that motivates you, that gives you awareness in your life, that gives you confidence and, and, and just lifts your spirits. Because if you don't have purpose in your life, you're going to try to attach to something else that will give you purpose. And tip number four is have standards for yourself. Women are attracted to a man that has standards for himself, that doesn't just sleep or date any woman that he can get his hands across. What he has is he voices with abundance, and I talk about in my eight alpha mindsets that attract women, which I'll put up here in the cards. But in regards to abundance, when you come from a place of abundance because of the fact that you have standards, shows a woman that she has to also work for you. Nobody wants to work for nothing in life. We appreciate the more that we have to work for something or the more that we have to be good for something, the more that we have to really develop attraction for someone or meet a specific goal for them. And the same goes vice versa for her too, should be for you. She should have standards within the men that she dates and you should have standards within the woman that you date. And how you come across as this is by literally shifting your energy and having standards and looking at your whole approach and looking at women differently so you have this. And this is what comes off in standards with women. And I've talked about how to set standards in a couple of my videos. And I'm going to give you one tip on regards to setting standards with women is creating the idea in your mind of what it is that you want and how a woman can offer you something substantial in your life that you can offer her as well to possibly create something in the future. And tip number five is be self-aware of yourself. So a lot of times I, I think of a client that's coming to my head right now and making this video. And he had this woman that was very attracted to him, was his girlfriend, but they would always break up because of the fact that he had jealousy tendencies. He was very controlling. Um, and when he drank, he just got out of control. And whenever I got on the phone with him, he was so reactive, so on fire that the fact that he couldn't even listen to me in that moment because he was just focused on just getting her back. 
And in this moment, he wasn't even self-aware of himself. So being very self-aware of your emotions of why you might be ruining something or where your weaknesses are in life, this is where you need to focus on because this is how you're going to get a woman to desire you. That behavior does not get women to desire you. And also understanding as a man, what are your weak points? What are, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses, right? So in putting yourself and understanding those things, so you can be very self-aware women are attracted, especially high quality women. They're attracted to a woman. They're attracted to a man that is very self-aware and in tune with his emotions and in control of his behaviors and control of his emotions and doesn't let somebody else or something else affect him, his core. Tip number six is be honest and hold yourself with integrity. Now, a lot of times honesty can be looked as confrontation, right? And it makes us nervous. But when you don't agree with something, if you have opinion about something, be honest about that. There's some, there's this thing that I've talked about in another video before, and I was coaching a woman client before, and I asked her something. I asked her, what makes you so attracted to this guy than any other guy? And the first thing that she said, without a second of the doubt, she didn't even think about it. And she said, the fact that he has his own opinion and he doesn't always agree with me. That was the number one thing that popped up in her mind that differentiated him from every other guy out there. So being honest with yourself and the other individual is so important to creating that moment of making a woman want to desire you. And last but not least, hold yourself as a prize and don't let anybody else affect you of this. Now, if you are a man that has worked on yourself, respects women, respects yourself, has standards, knows what he wants, and is waiting for that woman, then understand that you should never devalue yourself in order to fit in someone else's lens. Because of the fact that when we try to fit in someone else's lens, we get confused, we get shot down, we get less confident, we don't feel powerful anymore, and then we feel a sense of no control because we don't have control. So understanding that the way that you view yourself is the way that other people will. Now, I'm not saying to be cocky and arrogant, but be confident. Cocky and arrogant doesn't come with compassion. Confidence comes with compassion and a willingness to observe others and to also a willingness to observe yourself. So holding yourself with integrity, holding yourself as a prize and having that core foundation that I'm talking about in this video is exactly what makes women desire you. And what is exactly what makes you different from so many men out there. And if you can master these tips that I'm giving you in this video, I can guarantee you, you will master women. If you want more education, more guidance, more advice on how to do just this. I have a product called my friend zone, no more that I actually go into two hours of content in regard to the mindset of attracting, not being a friend, being a commitment type of guy and really getting good with women. I have so much free content in there too. My how to text manual, how to escalate with women and also have a special group for you, which is my VIP membership group that you have one-on-one -on -one with me all the time in this Facebook group. And you have access when you buy that product. So if you are interested, I encourage you to download that. It's in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you there. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them below here as I try my best to answer them. Give this video a thumbs up, and as always, I'll see you again in the next one, and remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.